The step up from academy graduate to first team player is very often a step too far. But Callum Riley has taken life as a full-time professional in his stride. Riley made his Birmingham City debut under Chris Hewton during an FA Cup tie against Sheffield United in early 2012. But it was Lee Clark who earmarked the young midfielder for a regular starting spot. He's now fast approaching 30 appearances in a blue shirt and believes he's benefited greatly from those who handed him his big chance. Working under different managers, I've got two different managers now, so it's obviously you take on board like different coaching staff that have to say to you when you work on your game. Um, I've developed it a lot since then, I'm a completely different player and more disciplined I think. Um, there's still a lot to work on, I mean, I know that myself and I can still get even better than what I've been showing from what I've been showing now. Um, but yeah, I think I'm trying to mature as a player, trying to trying to become a safer player, safer for the team. Um, but also, there's also things that I want to develop on as in scoring goals, sort of my attacking threat. But the way that we're playing at the minute, the centimetres, the centimetres need to be kind of a safety net, I think. So um, that's what I'm trying to make myself for the gaffer is someone that you can you can be assured on week in, week out. I think that's the main thing I need to build on. The 20-year-old was thrust into championship action for the first time last December in a 2-2 draw against Crystal Palace at St Andrews. He's quickly become a trusted member of Lee Clark's squad, although his memories of that particular occasion remain a blur. You don't have much choice to think about, you don't have much time to think about when you get thrown in games out because the championship's so quick and uh, people are on you and you get told in a split second that you're either, if you're on the bench, you get told in a split second, right, you're on, or you get told the day that you're playing or you're starting. You don't get any time to think about it and I think that's the best way to do it sometimes because you don't get, no one worries then, you don't get nerves don't have time to settle in at all but <clears throat> um, 20 now and I got I need to start start really settling nailing down a position and playing week in week out Birmingham and that's that's my aim. The manager hasn't been afraid to give youth a chance with Blues now one of the younger squads in the championship that means the role of those few experienced players has become even more important. Sometimes you, you line up against um, a central pairing that are very experienced, but then you look around and some of the other teams haven't got the. We might have a few, only a few, but they haven't got the experience that we have got. And, and the likes of Paul Robinson, and you've even got Nikola Zigic, um, Chris Burke, all very, very experienced players and very, very good players. Some of the best players um, around, like in the league. I think maybe the the youth in the teams probably show me their inconsistency a little bit, um, but the managers. Deserves credit for the fact that he stuck to it, stuck to the youth, um, brought some great, th great players through um, the system so far. With you got the young lads that are all cracking lads like Demi and Brownie, that are good lads have been brought through this year. Um, so he, sh he stuck to it regardless of the results, and he's, he's still he's still going strong with his his motto that he wants to bring in these lads and his principles that he's sticking in um, to play, but. We'll get, we'll get there. The, lads, the only way that you can gain experience is by playing and that's what we're going to do. Blues have experienced highs and lows during an inconsistent start to the season. Riley began the league campaign on the substitutes bench, but impressive displays in the Capital One Cup have put him back in the first team picture. Man of the match as holders Swansea City were beaten in style at St Andrews in round three. He's hoping for even more success in the Cup, with Stoke City next up at St Andrews in the fourth round. I think we kind of wore them down a little bit and we went into the second half and they, they, they couldn't get through us at all and then we got the first goal and then we got the second goal and they kind of broke down a little bit and we, <clears throat> we the only disappointing thing for that at that game is that they managed to score because we didn't think they deserved to get the goal in the end in the second half at all and that was the only annoying thing in that game. But you can't say you can't say really anything apart from that we were delighted about the game and so you can't really dwell on too much on them scoring. We just want to take that into the Stoke game now, the performance. The pressure with anything it's all on them. So we're gonna we'll go into the same we'll go in the same way we did against Swansea against Stoke and we'll go in there knowing we can win the game but we'll respect the opponents but we'll, as I said we'll know that we know that we've got the ability to win the game still. Although born in Warrington and brought up in Solihull, Riley's heritage is in the Republic of Ireland. He's blossomed on the international stage and hopes good performances for his club 
will lead to more opportunities with his country. They put me straight into the team. We had two tough games against Holland and Portugal. Um, that set us up for the qualification stage and the campaign. Um, I've really enjoyed it. The coaching's good over there. Played with some great players. That's the different thing is sometimes when you play at your club level, you get you're playing with the same players week in week out, um, and it's sometimes nice to go and start playing with different players and see different different players with different different talents, different abilities, and there's some really good young players there, Ireland, and I've enjoyed it. If I have a good 21s campaign and, and I start nailing down a place for the first team for Birmingham City and playing week in, week out good football, then I don't see why not. You can't get an eye opener from the new manager. So and obviously I know Daz Randolph here really well and he's he's a great he's a great keeper so he and he's involved there. So if I did if you ever did get the call then obviously I think I know people there. But there's a few lads in the twenty ones with a good with a good shout for for the uh, senior team that are really good players and that maybe in the future will be in there themselves. But I'm really focused and dedicated to trying trying to play my best because at the moment I haven't even re I haven't reached anywhere near my best in playing playing ability. I haven't shown to the fans what I can actually do. And all I'm trying to do is try and help the team to try and get to where they should be, which is a lot higher than where they are at the moment. So feet firmly on the ground, expect more to come from Callum Riley.